Hello and welcome to the Rare Record Room. I've been collecting vinyl for around 40 years now. I was buying records in the late 1970s and during the 80s through to the 90s and beyond when records were no longer in vogue and proved rather difficult to find. My collection is mostly guitar based music from the 50s through to the 90s covering rock and roll through rhythm and blues, beat, psychedelia, rock, soul, funk, punk and new wave, pop and Britpop. It comprises around two and a half thousand records, mostly LPs, although there's a few hundred seven inch singles, EPs and 12 inch singles. Most original pressings or unusual versions. And my aim in these videos is to show some of the more interesting that I have, or at least the ones I find interesting. If you do too, please feel free to hit the like button and check out my other videos. Installment, we're revisiting the British beat scene of the early to mid 1960s and we'll be looking at the self titled debut long player from the legendary North London band The Kinks. Formed in 1963 by the guitarist brothers Ray and Dave Davis, who were ever present throughout the group's career, where they were joined by various other musicians. Of those other players within the classic lineup of the band, were Mick Avery, who was briefly the drummer for the Rolling Stones in 1962, and the bass guitarist Pete Quaife. With the Davis brothers, Quaife had also been a member of the Ray Davis Quartet, the forerunner to the Kinks, for whom Rod Stewart had once sung lead vocals. The Kinks' early musical influences were jazz and blues, and in particular the British rhythm and blues godfather Alexis Corner, with whom Ray Davis would follow and subsequently hang out with. The band, under the direction of the American record producer Shel Talmy, had signed to Pie Records, where their first two singles had flopped. The first was a cover of Little Richard's Long Tall Sally, and the next, Ray Davis' original song, You Still Want Me, both being released in early 1964. Shel Talmy knew the Beatles promoter Arthur Howes, and the Kinks were booked to support the Beatles in August 1964. Appearing on the same bill were the British mod band The Who, performing under the name The High Numbers. The Kinks breakthrough came that same month with their third single release, which was another original song by Ray Davis called You Really Got Me. With its signature sound of distorted guitar riff and solo, this influential song became a blueprint for garage rock, hard rock and heavy metal. The single topped the charts in Britain and was a worldwide hit, reaching the top 10 in Australia, Canada, Sweden and the United States and it was the closing track on side one of the band's debut LP titled The Kinks. The album was recorded at Pi Studios and IBC Studios in London and produced by Shel Talmy, who was also making records at this time with The Who. The Kinks LP comprises original songs by Ray Davis and typical covers of rhythm and blues standards for beat bands of the period, including two from Chuck Berry and one by Bo Diddley. The record closes with a cover of Slim Harpo's classic Swamp Blues number, Got Love If You Want It, which would also be recorded by the Yardbirds for their debut album released two months after The Kinks. The penultimate track, Stop Your Sobbing, was subsequently covered by The Pretenders as their first single in 1979, reaching the UK Top 40, being one of several Kinks songs revived by prominent New Wave acts, including The Jam and The Knack. Several session musicians were involved in this album, including Perry Ford of the beat group The Ivy League on piano, John Lord later of Deep Purple playing organ, and a pre-Yardbirds Jimmy Page on 12-string acoustic guitar. When released in October 1964, the debut LP was an instant success, peaking at number three in the NME UK album charts, behind two multi-selling LPs by The Beatles and The Rolling Stones. And so, to the vinyl itself, the 1964 original pressing is on the pink Pi Records label with text printed in black, issued under the catalogue number NPL18096. 
It was issued in the UK mono only. A stereo version was made, but these were intended for export only. Stereo copies are housed in the same mono sleeves, but are stickered or stamped with the stereo wording. The stereo export version was reissued the following year with a revised pink label layout, again accompanied by an adapted mono sleeve. The UK mono label features the statement recording first published 1964 at the three o'clock position and there is no KT tax code on this copy. The made in England wording appears at the six o'clock position and the remainder of the rim text comprises of an all rights reserved notice. The record inner is either a plain white company die cut paper sleeve or a non die cut LP advertising sleeve printed in blue. The LP cover is a front laminated flip back design. It is printed and manufactured in England by Garrett and Lofthouse Limited and includes a printed patents pending notice. The sleeve notes are written by Brian Somerville and describe the band as an original and independent minded mod act. The spine displays the album title and the group name, but no catalogue number. Now to values, and the Kinks' failed first single, Long Tall Sally, is listed in the current edition of the Rare Record Price Guide at £120 for copies in mint condition. Their next non-charting single from 1964, You Still Want Me, is even rarer, valued at £200. In comparison, their smash hit, You Really Got Me, is worth £10. Their eponymous LP remains a desirable and valuable record which is currently listed at £175 for decent mono copies, with the original stereo export copies rated at £250. The 1965 stereo reissue export album is even scarcer and this is listed at £275. And that brings us to the end of my concise look at the original mono pressing of Kinks, the debut LP from the kinks that's your lot for this episode from the rare record room i hope you enjoyed the content if you did like the video please make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more and to receive notifications for any new uploads thanks for watching see you next time